I know why you're here. You're here for one of two reasons. You're here because either you know somebody, you want to buy a Christmas gift for them, they're a gamer, but you have no idea that there's 7,000 games or something like that. This is the list for you. Or you know it's you, and you're like, ah, I don't need any more games. I already got all my Kickstarters. I already got all the stuff I'm going to get. So what now to get for myself? Well, we have some ideas for you in this very video. Now, here's one idea. You could win a contest for them. <laughs> well, I don't know if, if you will win the contest, but you might as well try. There's a link in the description of this video that will lead you to a video on Above Board TV's website. Above Board TV is a comedy show, and they also do extreme gaming. They've played game jumping out of an airplane. Uh, the one in this video below is them playing with sharks. You're going to see stuff of them playing on a glacier, playing on a volcano, and more is coming. And there's also all kinds of funny skits, top tens. I'm on the channel every once in a while very very small amount but there's funny stuff and you want to check it out if you comment on that shark video that's in the description you could win the gamer who has everything a three day and two night trip to LA to record with the above board team or you or them uh, and also other winners and we'll notify all the winners in the comments will win some of the games on these lists that we've been doing we're doing 10 of these lists on the top uh, are the 12 games of Christmas. So check them out. All right. Well, games, expansions. What else is there to get the gamer who has everything? Well, here's 12 options. Starting off this list here, do you know someone who has plenty of games, but maybe not enough opportunities to play those games? Well, consider getting them a subscription to BoardGameArena.com. Board Game Arena is my preferred platform for playing games online because it's an easy to use website, there's a free membership, or there's a premium one, which I've had for over three years now, where you have access to all of the games, including some of the more hot and recent games on there. If you have a free membership, you can jump into games, but if you have the premium one, especially if you gift someone this, they have an easier time starting up rooms and they get a little more priority in the online match-up queuing. So if they want to play games, this is how they can jump into so many of them. You can play them in real time with other people, and there's a little chat features and voice chat, or you can play them turn-based, so you pull out your phone every few hours and you say, hey, it's my turn in Arc Nova, let me do my actions, and then it'll go to somebody else, and I'll check again in a little while. Board Game Arena has been my favorite platform for this type of thing, and so it's one of the easiest ways to be able to jump into games with people literally all around the world. So consider a subscription there. For the gamer that has everything, what do you get? Well, this is one that really, if you have everything, you can get this, and then you can print more everything. That sounds fun. This is a 3D printer. 3D printer, I know before you say, whoa, whoa, 3D printers, those are really expensive, and they are. You've got some really nice ones, like the Prusa MK3S is what, what we use here at the office. I've got one at home, but um, they're really nice, but they're more in the seven, $800 range, and that wasn't my first printer. But the first ones print just as well, like the Ender 3, and there's a lot of Ender 3 different type of, in that same budget range of $200, and they print well. The one thing to remember about the 3D printers are it's more of a hobby than a set it and forget it type of thing. So you have to put some time into it. But if you put the time into it, the things you can print with these, whether they can be inserts or they can print like walls. We've got walls for zombie side. We've got different token holders for different games. Little things that you want in your games, you can just print up there. Like certain ones had statues. I think Jonathan the Lion had some statues and I print actual statues. And on Thingiverse, on these websites, you can download STLs so you can print them yourself. So you, I, I can't design things, but I will take, I will download them and print them. You can print so much and really bling out your game with the price of a thing of film and that's like 10 bucks. So a 3D printer, it's something fun to tinker with. It's also a hobby. It's enjoyable to see what you can create. And you can print Batarangs, which I love Batarangs. They're all over the office. Tom gets mad, but I print a lot of them because they're Batarangs from Batman. He throws them at people, bad people. Next up on our list is a laminator. 
Now, I have used laminators for so many different things. For one, they can be a whiteboard, so you can use dry erase markers and you can erase them. That is great for making your roll and write games last longer. You can also use it for scorecards so that you don't run out of your little pad of scorecards. It's also really good for taking things that are very flimsy and have low production quality and making them nicer, firmer, and stronger so that they last longer. For example, player aids. Sometimes player aids come and they're really thin and they're floppy, and so adding that lamination protects them, or even printing your own. There are so many DIY player aids and those kind of things that you can get from Board Game Geek or just the internet in general, and being able to print those out, laminating them, making them look nice. It's beautiful. So there's a lot of good choices there. The next gift for the gamer who has everything is board game art. Now, I love some of the beautiful artwork that is used in board games, but the problem with it is you only get to see it when you play one. Now, if you have somebody that you play a beautiful board game with and you think that they would love to see it and times when they're not playing it, this is the perfect gift for them. You can get it at Board Game Geek, you can get it at your local con, you can get it at Etsy. There are a variety of places where you can get these beautiful pictures to remind you and your friend of the wonderful times that you spent with them beating the heck out of you. Continuing on for the gamer with everything, let's talk about promos. Look, if you are a board gamer, even casually, if there's a game you love, you oftentimes want to try to get everything that's available for it. It might be expansions, it might be upgraded components, things along those lines. But there's nothing quite as satisfying as a promotional item that can either add to what you already love or do some kind of a little clever twist to it. Maybe it's an extra couple of tokens, maybe it's something that gives you a whole new way to play the game, a whole new mode. Promos are wide ranging. They may just be, like I said, a couple of tokens. It may be something much more uh, meaty. But if you've got a gamer that loves a particular game, you can always check out if there are promotional items for those. We at the Dice Tower, as part of our crowdfunding initiatives, have offered many, many promos. So we sell promos. You can find some of our promos on the Board Game Geek uh, web, uh, website as well. So promos are a great way to give those gamers who have everything, it's like, I don't, I don't know what games they don't have, but I do know they love this game. So I'm going to go see if I can get a promo for it. You know, in my gaming group, I always have to teach the rules to games. That might be you, or maybe you hate learning the rules for games. I get it. So I want to tell you today about Dized, D-I-Z-E-D. -E this is an interactive tutorial that you can get for games. So it teaches you the game, but it teaches you, you set, it helps you set the game up. It talks you through turns. I tried this out with a fairly complex game, Blood Rage, and it worked so well. I already knew how to play Blood Rage, but I was like, wow, I can use this to learn games, but you learn by doing, not just hearing a recitation of the rules. I mean, and I'm looking here at their library and they got uh, new ones that just popped up for Apiary, Tiny Epic Crimes, Terraforming Mars, a dice game, Tesseract, Bonsai, The Last Kingdom, Dorf Romantic, um, and and wow, there's all the different tiny epic games are on here, Seven Wonders, Arc Ravels, Bang, and the list goes on and on and on. So this is a great thing to get for somebody. You get them a game, they're like, oh, I have to learn the rules. No, you do not. Or maybe you are just tired of teaching the rules to people, and you're like, hey, let's use this to get into it. These guys have put a lot of effort into their system, and it shows, so check out Dized. I enjoy painting board games, and sometimes I don't have as much time to do it as others, but a cool thing if you have someone that you know would enjoy painting is to either get them painting supplies or getting them a learn to paint kit. So there are all these different Reaper Bones, like learn to paint kits or different brands of learn to paint kits that can kind of help someone get started off on like learning to paint their miniatures and stuff for their board games. So they normally come with like several different colors and then brushes and different stuff you just need to get started in painting the miniatures for your board games. If you have someone in your life that has a lot of miniatures board games but don't have any of them painted, and they, they act like they might enjoy painting their miniatures or learning how to do so, um, check out these learn to paint kits that you can get from various places online. But yeah, learn to paint. That would be a fun gift for the holiday season. Next up, let's discuss Geek Up Bits. You can get these from Board Game Geek. They do them for a bunch of different games, and they are these lovely component upgrades for wonderful games, proven games. 
that maybe you want to soup up a little bit. Maybe you want to have these wonderfully done plastic upgrades for one of your favorites. A wonderful example, one of the best examples would be the upgrade bits for the Quacks of Quedlingburg. Just, you know, one, a modern classic push your luck game. The original bits for this game are fine. They work just well. But the wonderful geek up bits that are upgraded are plastic, screen printed, look amazing, and have this incredibly satisfying feel and sound. That is a different way to play this game. You're going to want to get these bits. You're going to want to level up your play experience so that the return you get from a session of Quacks of Quedlingburg or any of the other geek up bit games is going to be tremendous. It really elevates the experience you have when you level up the game. And this is one fantastic way to do it. There's very uh, few people out there making upgraded components to the level that Board Game Geek is making them, and Geek Up Bits is one of the ways they're doing that. So check those out. If you have a gamer who has everything, they're probably really proud of their board game hobby, right? Whether they're they're showing it off and they're talking about it all the time or they're always thinking about it. If they're anything like me, they probably dream about it every now and then too. But that's not here nor there. What they want to do is they want to share that with other people, right? What better way to do that than through board game apparel? This can be in the form of shirts or socks or ties or earrings. We've seen a whole spectrum of stuff. I have some Final Girl earrings with a little blood drip dripping off that I love to tell people about. I wear them. Oh, those are some neat earrings. Let me tell you what they're from. It's just so fun. I also have a Meadow shirt, which is absolutely gorgeous, and I love wearing it. It just kind of helps me share that passion. And even if people don't ask about it, it's just something that I enjoy having on me because it makes me happy. It keeps the games on my mind. It helps me share it with others. And I think board game apparel is a great choice for that gamer who has everything. Sometimes gamers have everything except other gamers to play with. So send them to a gaming convention. Now, I'm going to be a little bit biased here. I think you should check out the Dice Tower Cruise in January where we get on the Royal Caribbean ship, we go out to ports, we have amazing meals, sea shows, and we bring the entire Dice Tower library with us. Or Dice Tower West, which is in Las Vegas, a playground out west with all the lights and flashing things of Vegas, and then a room with the biggest library, a public library on earth that people can play from, the Dice Tower West library, and shows and more. Or Dice Tower East, which happens in July, where we bring the Dice Tower library, the whole Dice Tower staff is there to all three of these and play games with you. But listen, I'm obviously biased towards my own conventions, but there are all kinds of conventions. Buying someone a convention ticket is a pretty neat thing. Whether it's one of the big conventions like Gen Con and Origins and PAX and, and uh, the Spiel in Essen or whatever country you're in that one. But there's local conventions everywhere. Look for a boarding convention that's near you and buy this person who has everything a ticket there. Buy them their hotel room too and an airplane ticket. Ah, you, maybe you're not made out of money. But a ticket to a convention is a really cool gift to get to someone, so check that out. I talked about before a 3D printer. I used to 3D print inserts a lot, right? Because inserts are really nice to put in there. And that's when Camilla introduced me to folded space inserts. The thing about inserts for me, like the 3D printed ones, the wooden ones, all that, they add so much weight to the box. And it's it's like, ah, uh, because you pick it up and you're afraid to put it on the top of the calyx, it could fall over. They add a lot of weight. These folded space inserts work incredibly and they add very little weight and on top of that it's soft so if these things rattle around in there they're bumping up against something soft rather than a 3d printed wall or wood or whatever that right there these are really good and they're affordable they're cheaper than a lot of these more expensive inserts so folded space is one of those that I will check for all, most of the games that I love because they organize it better and they don't add that much weight to the box. So that's something I can't recommend highly enough. So if you know someone's favorite game or your favorite game, check out to see if Folded Space has it in shirt. All right, let's close out this list for the gamer with everything with something that is very practical but still really fun. And that is all play game bags. 
Game bags are essential for players who like to take their games with them to game nights or conventions, things along those lines. If you're going to a friend's house and you want to bring, around, bring along a game or two, no one does that. You want to bring half of your collection because you're like, well, we may be able to get all of these games played. We may be able to get all six of these games played. You don't want to carry six games in your arms. You want to have a sleek, practical, sturdy game bag from All Play. It is a fashion statement as well. They're really nice looking bags. They're well made and they are really good for anybody who wants to transport their games in style and in safety. All Play game bags are really, really stellar products. Thanks for watching another video in our series of the 12 Games of Christmas. Uh, a couple things before we go out. First of all, we've mentioned lots of different things that you can get here. And there's board games and all sorts of stuff. And we checked to make sure that these were available online. Uh, so we checked at the different online game stores like Game Nerds. We checked the publisher sites themselves. So we checked Amazon. And in fact, if they're available on Amazon, we have those links in the description. You just go right there and buy them. And if you do that, anything when you buy there, or if you buy other stuff too, that helps us here at the Dice Tower. So keep that in mind. Also, don't forget our sponsor, Above Board TV. Go check out their channel. Go enter the contest uh, by commenting on that video we mentioned. And uh, as a side note, this contest is available only to those in the U.S. now for different reasons. But even if you're from all over the world, you can at least go check out their content and laugh as they play board games in fun and weird ways. Anyway, folks, thanks so much for watching these. I hope these lists are a help to you. Check out the other nine videos. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and this is the 12 Games of Christmas of 2023 on the Dice Tower.